day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Because everybody that was of color was way on the other side of, of Spokane, Washington. I was just right there, Chris, that's an example of something that didn't escalate. That didn't, you we're, know. We're talking, we're talking uh, 88? Yeah. 1988? This was a long time ago. Chris, I think, I think uh, it, you're, yeah, I'm, you're, about, uh, I'm about to unmute. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I was, I was saying that's almost the same same way around here except we don't have how can i say it me well i'll say it this way soon as you came to the door uh pastor taylor to that they should have looked at you because like i said they, they know us you got a military haircut you walk standing straight up when you talk to a cop around here if they really don't want to bother with you or they really just checking on you i can get out of a i can get out of a ticket around here all day every day i can okay. hand them my driver's license and hand them my id card and they know i got an army sticker on it that's why i don't stress about being around here if i leave this area i'm in an unfamiliar situation that's when things change well now like many times you was pulled over for you was, uh, you you going down to florida i believe yeah and that guy pulled you over mm -hmm. now that was in florida right yeah but you gotta like you said we're in like i said we live in a boat yeah we have certain things afforded to us because we were in the military is we are so in a way we are part of the system if we act right ain't nothing gonna happen to us like you said we know simple things to do like say every time i get pulled over now I give them my driver license and I slip my ID card in there. But hopefully right. that's going to be my get out of trouble card yes, because sir. that'll show them that I know how to play the game. And, the, and that same thing about putting your hands on 10 and 2 and stand there as a white guy. Yeah. If you do the right thing, you know how to play the game. They will leave you alone. Gotcha. Yeah. 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 And that's also but, with but, all my vehicles. Every one of my vehicles have a military yes. tag on it. And right. you put him on there, so, you put him on there strategically. And he probably saw your he probably saw your sticker when you came when he came out of the store. Yeah. On that on yours. Yeah, because you had to have a sticker just to get on base back base. then in your in yes, your windshield. And other thing other piece, they must have obviously was looking for a Cadillac. No, they uh, weren't looking for nothing. Mm -hmm. They just saw my car was gray and they figured it was a Cadillac because it was old school car. Mm -hmm. Okay, it was okay. big, and so brothers drive caddies. They got it. <laughs> yep, let's run. So that's what they said. So, like the Jimmy Town did, so so they, they are some protocols that needs to be taught anyway, right? Or or not? Yes. Well, yeah, they're, they're, we we need to teach these young these young drivers what they need to do, you know, when they get pulled over. Right. But it, it's, it's beyond that as well, because you can't be, it's, it's been proven, you can't be in the park as a kid and not get shot while black, while black in the park, a little kid. So you, you, ha you have to teach young kids, you know, how to act around police. You know, it's sad that I had to teach my son this and it just came to mind. I said, when you're crossing the street and if you see a white person in the car, I said, you do not cross the street until they come to a full stop and they wave you across. I said, okay. don't expect them to stop for you. Right. Just because you're at a crosswalk and they see you coming. I said, boy, you make sure they come to a complete stop and wave you across before you go across the street if you see uh, uh, a white person driving. 
Or a black person too, right? It doesn't matter but, really. No, that's not what I told him. Okay. <laughs> I'm just being honest. I, it was, it was, it's not need. I don't think it's needed for that, you know. Well, but that note that why I have also is, been taught that make sure you have eye contact of any moving vehicle. Oh yeah. Yeah. But, uh, but that he knows. He knows if he's, when he was even younger, uh, someone comes down the street and they even slow down. You go all the way next to the house. Right. And right. you don't go to the car when they call you. I don't care who they are, what color they are. You you stay next to the house. And if they ask for you, you come on in the house. He right. knows that. Matter of but, fact, his mom is so protective. I thought he was going to be like 25 before he was even able to go outside the house. Right. <laughs> the way she is. But, you know, she blew me away that she was, uh, she wasn't a helicopter mom that I thought she was going to be. But, uh, you, know, I, it, you know, as we close up, I, one of the things I noticed that, Chris, that, that thing, even that scripture we read there about the submission of authority, it was one of the things that do teach us in the military that Jim is talking about, we should teach, make sure we teach our young people, is it said take it patiently and if you patiently address a situation it, it, it diffuses it keeps it from escalate, escalating as well right yeah but I, I agree with that wholeheartedly because a lot of times like you said we give the information we allow them to search the car we allow them to do this because we're not patient we have somewhere we want to be and we want to go because if I sit in that car and I decide I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play hardball with them and go, nope, I'm not going to let you do this. Nope, you need to get a warrant. Then you that's what you're going to Thank you. That is the, and see, that's the, that's the trade-off. Or like being patient. Or, or do you have the time to do that? Then you can play that game. But most of the time, no, nah, dude, I didn't do nothing. I ain't done nothing. Yeah, you can look in the trunk, let me out of here, and then up, up, they done dropped some cocaine in your car. You know what I'm saying? I That's know how it. stuff yeah. starts. Right. That's the only concern I have about that. I, I'd like to say, I'd rather go back. Uh, I don't, if you have a warrant, you can search it, but no, I'm not consenting to the search. That, that's, I think that but one like needs to stay in the car. I don't know what you, I don't know what oh, you can I, put no, in the car. I, I agree with that, but I'm saying, if I decide to go this route, my, my time, he's going to use as much of it as he can. Oh, yeah. yes, sir. Yeah. They do say it start off with the attitude. Mm -hmm. It goes a long way. See, if, if he had responded to that store when that guy approached him, man, what the hell are you calling me for? What are you talking Why are you approaching me? Yeah. Now, now we're going move, to move to another level. We're going to be here a little longer than, than need to be. You know? Mm -hmm. And I think that's what I'm saying. It's like you said, Jim was talking about, it's just make sure we educate our people. And sometimes it's going to happen. Sometimes, regardless of everything you did right, stupidity is going to take its place. But all thing we can do is hope we get captured on tape and take it from there. That's so, that's all thing. And 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 I I implore everyone who's watching this: if you get pulled over, if, if you you need to have. A, a cup holder, a holder like like the pastor's uh, little phone holder is in your car, so that you can yeah. videotape yeah. the entire incident. If you have uh, someone riding in you in the car with you, have them recording, yeah. and make sure that you have somebody recording your side and the opposite side of your vehicle, because a lot of times everybody's paying attention to the cop at the driver's side but the cop at the passenger side is over there doing stuff as well. Right. So you need to record everything that's going on. And like I said, we need body cams for every situation that we're in when it comes to dealing with these officers. I don't care whether they're white or black. Yes, or sir. Latino or, or Haitian, Japanese, Chinese, Indian, Hindu. Uh, if they're human, you need to record what's going on when you're dealing with these officers now because they are 
they have become judge, jury, and executioner in almost every situation when it comes to uh, being them being out here trying to what they so called protect and serve. Right. I don't know who they protecting and who. Well, I do know who they protecting and who they're serving. <laughs> right. But it's not humanity. Yeah. It's not well, United States citizens. Yep. And you I know, agree with you because I got a people. dash cam on my car. And like I say, even that phone that's sitting right in front of me now, that thing, put you got a, you got a recorder on it. Yeah. And I'm you can start you, filming. Oh, I don't trust you, the filming too long because I think it runs out. Sometimes it's, you well, may not have enough video in your, your uh, phone. There is a program that I used to have. It was called Polo, I believe. Yeah, and Marco I used to Polo. Have, I think, uh, yeah, I'm going to put it back on my phone. Yeah. You can have a group of people that it will show real time what's going on. As it's going on, it's sending that footage to people, whether they're watching it or not. Yeah. So that footage is, is actually, it's not staying in your phone and, so that they can destroy your phone. You know, it's being put out. I like that one, to, yeah. Marco Polo, to certain yeah. individuals at the same time. Record. And if it gets out of hand, you can you can let them know. Say, look, this is already being sent to, to 20 people real time and they're watching this right along and they see exactly what's going on if you're gonna accost me or or do anything that is against the law or or, or against my right already witnessing it. exactly exactly and then you and can I, say like can you can I also like say will somebody please call 911 and tell them the situation going on and have them send cool. out uh, uh, one of these, uh, somebody of authority to come watch this guy. Super because you know the thing about the truth about the whole matter is that a lot of people say just stand on the side of truth. Well, you ain't, you'll be fine because you know I'm innocent. Let me tell you something. When you go before them judge and jury or them folks, it ain't got nothing to do with what's true or false. They, Everything they, got to do with what with what you can prove. Yes. If you you better have some proof. It ain't about yes. right and wrong. I know I was right. I know I didn't do nothing. Yeah, you might well be 100 percent innocent, but if you can't prove that, you're gonna have problems. Hey. The judges, I mean, the, 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 the prisons are full of innocent folks. Yeah, and, and, and it's true too. And that's why I'm saying is don't, I think that, that I think really probably need to focus on word silence because anything you say can and will be used against you will be used against you. Silence can be used against you. Well, it could be, but I, I, you still ain't got, you still can't work. I don't know what you can pull out of silence. I will well, give they can you my pull name. Out. I asked them a question and they didn't answer it, so they must be guilty. Well, I think, like I said, that the, the, when you're talking about legal, the buzzword is, I have the right to remain silent. They might be detained. Or oh, yeah. Yes. Because they're going to catch hell trying to prove that's probable cause, though, brother. They're going to catch hell trying to prove that's the probable cause, the fact that then you must, that must mean you're guilty. So at least but, you got but, the law on your side. But you know? it, it, they said in that videotape, they said you are guilty. Uh, to that jury box because they said you in that seat. Yeah, just because you're there, you're guilty. Uh, just because you're there, you're guilty. Yeah, exactly. You know, That's especially if if the majority of your peers are not your peers. Right. You know what I mean? If That's if you got a majority white white juror jury, when they see you, you're guilty. Yeah, but my, I guess the question I'm saying is that with silence not you physically also not any physical activity that you're doing on your behalf what does that how does that play out in court meaning what can they use to get what what justification are you going to have if you ask me to get out the car get out the car but i'm still silent i have been told you on tape i have invoked my right to be silent that's my right right i ain't and, and you ask questions, and I sit there and I told you, if I got to tell you again, I plead the fifth, I exercise my right to remain silent. If you grab me, what what is that going to show in the court? I didn't do anything. I show whatever truth they present, because yeah, but, the but fact is, is, they're not going to hear anything from you that's stating or proving that you didn't do something to the officer. And the officer, officer is going to spin a story and, and, and a truth, a non-truth truth for them to uh, listen to. 
Okay. And then they're going to say, well, we we gave him an opportunity to talk then, and they didn't say nothing. And now he wants to say something that, that he didn't then. And yeah, I'm not saying that that's going to happen, but right. I'm saying that there's plenty of times that the truth is whatever the cops say. Yeah, but I'm saying is everything like that, that videotape I was showing you, and just like the Miranda Rights' is warning says, everything you say can and will be used against you. Yes, and I I'm not saying silence. that you don't say anything. Yeah. I'm not saying that you don't say that, uh, uh, why are you detaining me or what, or am I being arrested or, or any of those those lawful things that you should say. Yeah, capture that on tape. But if you're just quiet, right, and yeah, you I allow don't... them to do whatever they want to do, then they're going to spin the scenario to where you weren't you weren't answering their questions in a way where they could where they did have reason to detain. Exactly, and they I can and say like, his yeah. his suspicious behavior yeah. is why I detained him, gotcha. and then we found such and such. And see, once it, once again, that's I mean, here's a buzzword again. I'm not consenting to the search. That's also the right. Uh, yes. Defendant. That's correct. So all the things, everything I'm saying is that you can't take an illegal search and put in court, but you can take my confession or you can take my action. But my action says I have the right to remain silent. I told you that. I'm not consenting to a search. And I don't know how long you want to sit out here, but I'm just, all that, all that jury is going to hear is I have a right to remain silent. I'm invoking my right to remain silent. So whatever you want to take that courtroom, you're going to have to take it based on your own observation. But why you pull me over? I have probable cause, fine. But you still gonna have to prove that in the court of law where I'm guilty of anything. Cause I ain't giving you nothing for incrimination. If I didn't say nothing, you can't use against me. That's all I'm saying. You, yeah. you, you have more chance to win. And I think that what that defense lawyer was talking about. He said, don't talk to them because everything you say will be used against you. Yeah. That's well, what I'm saying. We, we need to teach at least that part of what Jim was talking about. Know the law. Know your rights. And make sure it's captured on tape. And Chris, better than that, that, that fair? know the word. Know your father. Yeah. <laughs> that, my that's, people that's struggle with a lack of knowledge. Further. That's what I'm trying to say. My yeah. people struggle with a lack of knowledge. Give them knowledge. And I think Christ, even the Bible said Christ was an example himself. Yeah. And he said he was, Chris, he didn't say he was always silent, but he was sitting, he only answered when he needed to answer a question. And when that guy slapped him, all he said was, and you can, you can imagine if you were there, you almost could sense that one, Chris. That was a slap that required a reaction. <laughs> Look, if it was written, he must have slapped some snot You see what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> and, and and he said so that made it but it was it was it was it was rude or whatever you know all he said is friend why you hit me if i do wrong fine but if i didn't oh well that's all i'm saying so what what you could based on that what you thinking does that make sense that we track it a little bit yeah if you, like you say you're tracking and everything is fine but like you say Uh, uh, well, in the room. All I want to say is, you can sit there and say, you know, if I act just like this person, I expect these results to happen to me. It's not gonna happen. Oh like yeah, that. I agree. That's true. It's That's true. not gonna happen like that. Right. And like Jimmy was saying, like I said, we need to learn all the rules, and like you said learn how to use them i won't say to our advantage because we're all already at a disadvantage yes, but sir. we must learn how to manipulate the rules more in our favor right and like you said a lot of times you don't want to hear this let's be passive stuff and all this here and, and and see that's where i'm at i'm i'm tired of why i gotta alter everything just to get a fair shake it's uh i heard this cool thing y'all what's her name maya moore the WNBA player to help get that guy out of jail. Yeah. 
she said something that made so much sense that the athletes need to run with. This is what their model need to be. She said something to the effect of, the reason I got into this is because I'm an athlete. And since America loves sports so much, America does not want to see a rigged fight. America does not want to see a rigged race. She said America and in sports want to see a fair fight. That is all in America we want is a fair starting line. Put yes, us sir. all at the same place and then let us figure this thing out. Right. So if if they can do that in sports, do it in real life, in life. But like you said, that is how you change everything. Put everybody back at the same starting line. Yeah, yeah. And, that, and that's it. So I like I said, I'm tired of being put at a disadvantage even when I know I have the advantage. Right. And but like I said, said I, and then, and then we, as long as we know what the rules of the game is, whatever sport you're playing, yeah. then I'll play with the whole thing. That. Exactly. But the thing is, every time we learn the rules and we learn the game, they change the rules. That is what the problem's always been. When we master it, like I said, even in basketball, when we took over basketball, the, the latest thing was the three-point line. I'm waiting to see what they're coming up with next. Cause Steph Curry shooting from the free throw. <laughs> I mean, shooting from half court. What they going? What, what's next? <laughs> Can't use your dominant hand. Yeah, that's like cut your hands off. You gotta run around like this to put the ball in. <laughs> No, they're gonna limit. They're gonna, they're gonna, gonna limit the number of shots each person can take during the game. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> or or you gotta come game. with it. You gotta cross the court before you can uh -huh. shoot. But like I said, that that's all it is. Just give me a fast shake. Right. I'm I'm tired of this. Like shit. Way I was brought up, I gotta be three times better than the white guy just to be considered. Yeah. And then when yeah. and then when he dissed me, I gotta sit there and smile. Them days gone, buddy. Yeah. Yeah, them days gone. And the thing about the thing about, and I agree with that. That's those are the things that continue to have to work with. Um, but the the part I'm really focused on, like I said, the the lack of knowledge for the young people dealing with what happened in the street. But we still got even bigger issues. Got to keep challenging. Before I close, did y'all get that uh, survey on bias or racial disparity? And I forgot to write to it answer. down. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm going to do that. I forgot to write it down. But yeah, that's one of my goals today is to take that survey. Yeah, yeah. But be honest. He said this is your opportunity to 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 put it on the table. But that's that's what they did for the government recently. Sent out a survey to deal with racial bias. Is this a uh, website or something? It, it's it's a government survey, internal government survey. Yeah, but is it a web page? To it's take a, it's a link. Goes to a, yeah, it's a link to a web page. Did you send it out or something? No, because I thought it was just for us military. I mean, civilians and military people. I don't, I don't think it's external. Okay, because I I don't remember getting getting that. Hey, you a retiree? It seems like you might be able to get it, but it's, uh, yeah, but they probably don't want to hear from me. They they monitoring me very well. <laughs> I hear you. <laughs> And I'm pretty sure they all monitor our, our, our recordings and stuff too. But I think mainly they're doing this trying to make sure we stay on the stay within the, within the boundaries that we both stay in, and address issues that that are, are relevant to the day and time. Yeah. But I do think I think I, I very I want to say this. I close with this. I'm very proud of the black minorities in this country to come as far as we have come because you're talking about a hole, digging out of a hole, 400 years, not allowed to read, can't keep your family intact. All of a sudden there you were free, still held with Jim Crow laws and, and, and you know all kinds of issues. And I still think we're making some big progress.